A lot of us aspire to be as manly and as masculine as possible. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. I definitely feel this way from time to time. Now, I'm not saying this is 100% the best way to dress or anything like that. And I'm also not saying that there's anything wrong with dressing a little bit more high fashionable, um, maybe a little bit more towards the feminine spectrum or on the metrosexual spectrum. This is just for those guys that want to display on the outside just how rough and tough they are as on the inside. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, this might be my best tip to you guys. If you can grow an epic beard or even an epic mustache, you should do it. Facial hair is one of the features that is going to make the most dramatic change in the way that your appearance looks. So if you can grow a beard, let it grow, baby. But definitely keep it well-maintained. Groom it from time to time. Don't just let a forest grow on your face. And for the guys that can't naturally, genetically grow a beard, go to a party city. I know they have an array of fake beard. No, I'm just kidding. Don't do that. It's not the end of the world for you guys. You can definitely make up for it in other ways. You know, you can do things with the way that you dress, the way that you present yourself to be just as masculine as those guys with the big Santa Claus or lumberjack beard. Beards. Now I want to talk about hair. Hair I don't think is necessarily as important as some of the other things that we're going to talk about. Primarily the way that you dress. Hair I think you can basically have some freedom with that, do with it what you will, but if you want to be safe I'd recommend steering away from growing those long luscious locks because the way that things are in society today, whether you like it or not, women tend to have the more long luscious hair. Men usually tend to go with the more short, clean cut, classy look look with their hair. So either nice short hair or a little bit to play with, I think either way you're in the clear. And if you're bald or balding, then that's actually a good thing because there's no hairstyle that's more manly than that. When was the last time you saw a bald girl? Well actually I've seen a couple, but... So if you're bald or balding, don't beat yourself up, own that shit. Alright, now the meat and bones of this video, the way that you dress. Now I'm tempted to say that the simpler the better, but then I know that some of you guys are just gonna go out there and wear a wife beater and some stupid looking cargo pants or something like that. But what I really mean by this is no high fashion and or metrosexual looking stuff. For instance, instead of wearing a pea coat, trade it in for a nice thick Carhartt jacket. Stick with more basic outdoorsy type stuff. I'm talking Henleys, flannels, and thick sweaters, things of that sort. Some of my favorite brands for this type of clothing is Patagonia, Carhartt, and Columbia. I actually just picked up this sweet Columbia vest. I think it's a great foundation for any manly outfit. Vests are totally in right now. It makes it look like you just got finished fishing with pops. Now you're ready to toss some burgers on the grill out back. Yeah, that manly. But whatever you wear, you want to make sure it's well fitting. And that goes the same for pants. Make sure you're wearing pants that fit you. I'm saying only wear skinny jeans if you're actually skinny and only wear regular boot cut jeans if you're actually a little bit on the bigger side. You want to be somewhere in between if you're more on the regular spectrum, right? So I'm talking slim fit, baby. And your best option is definitely jeans. There's just something about them that makes them look manly. And as far as color goes, the world is your jungle gym. And moving our way down, when it comes to shoes, there is nothing more manly than boots. So may I recommend to you Thursday Boots. This is actually the sponsor of today's video and I cannot thank them enough. I absolutely love these boots. Thursday Boots was built out of our frustration. You know, clunky work boots or delicate fashion boots. Cheap boots that fall apart after a few hours of wear or boots that were incredibly overpriced. It doesn't seem right that you have to make that trade off, right? There has to be another option and that's where Thursday Boots comes in. They wanted to offer an alternative. The result, boots that are as functional as they are fashionable. Ridiculously high quality boots at honest prices. Guys, I'm not blowing smoke up your ass. I absolutely love these boots. They're awesome. They go so well with a nice pair of jeans or even chinos. You can dress them up or down. You can basically rock them with any outfit. They'll definitely take your style game to the next level. So go check them out guys, there will be a link in the description below, all you have to do is click on it. So other than the boots, my one last tip for you guys is don't overload on jewelry, you know, maybe steer clear of necklaces and an abundance of bracelets or wristbands or things like that. If anything, just toss on a wristwatch, there's nothing wrong with that, that's pretty manly too. So guys, that's all I have for you guys today, toss all these in a pot, mix it together, you'll be looking manly as ever. Whoa, that rhymed too.
Nice. I should be a rapper. Anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I actually really enjoyed making it. If you guys have any topics that you want me to cover, put that in the comments below. Seriously, I really want you to do that. I want to uh, provide to you guys the content that you guys need. So let me know. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe. Hit the post notification button. And until next time, peace out.